I think the problem with Cristiano now is that he's got to decide what he wants to do next. Mm -hmm. uh, and what he wants to do next, he wants to do it away from Real Madrid, which means that as he happened with Manchester United on his last season or last two seasons, he's confused. Mm -hmm. uh, he did really well in the last two seasons with Manchester United, but he was thinking about, okay, it's Madrid now. Mm -hmm. So Alex said, just wait one year. And talking to a lot of people that played with him at that last year, Manchester United, he didn't have the head there. He still scored a lot of goals. He didn't have the head there. I don't think he's got the head in Real Madrid. I don't think he wants to change. He's not interested in, in becoming like Luis Suarez, a guy that can do a lot without the ball. Not interested in that. No happy in the position he's playing in. But of course, you know, the coach asked the president for a striker. So this doesn't happen. The president says no. So, as you said before, the club hasn't helped either. But at this particular point, Cristiano is, uh, you know, a lot of things in his head. Where do you think his next step is? Because some people say PSG, some people say Manchester United, some people say MLS. In football, you never know, you have to say that. But there's a strategy in place for him to move on. Mm -hmm. And then he has to be somewhere where he wins. Mm -hmm. Anything else is not possible. And he can win at PSG. He can take PSG to an another level. Mm -hmm. They're flirting each other so openly that you wonder, are they playing as on? I mean, is mm -hmm. there something else going on? But in any case, it kind of fits. PSG needs somebody to take them to the next level, perhaps Champions League. They probably think he is the guy to do so. Why, though? Because that's a funny way. Because, I mean, Real Madrid have had some of the best players in the world. Arguably, they've had better coaches, better everything down the years. They only won one in the time that he was there. Yeah. Uh, PSG, though, they have a system. Uh, they have some... There's a shape of a team. Mm -hmm. It's not just a bunch of individuals. Yeah. But, of course, you need two or three that take you to the next level. Yeah. Well, Pastor is one, but now he's forming part of the team, uh, Lavezzi or, or Ivra. But if you take Ivra out, you put Cristiano in, it kind of works for them as well. So it could well be PSG. I think everybody's flirting with Manchester United for the same reason that he had flirted with them for a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, it was to get another contract. Now, I think for something else to go to get uh, to get to PSG or something like that. I MLS will be in the future. What's interesting is that uh, both Messi's people and Ronaldo's people have had conversations with MLS where they think they can convince them both to get to the MLS at some point. Yeah. Which will be uh, yeah, fascinating, a uh, great way of both ending their careers. But I don't know if it, we will coincide, but we'll see. Hi guys, Adam McCola here. I am with Sam Holmwood and none other than the special one himself. Juan Mata. Hi Juan. Hello. How are you doing? You alright? I'm very good, thanks. 